So let's do 3F3 plus 4F4 plus 5F5 plus 6F6, etc. What does that sum represent? What does that sum represent? 3F3 plus 4F4 plus 5F5 plus etc. Here's a side of size 4, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my finger in the sand, and I'm going to walk on side 1, and then I'm going to walk on side 2, then I'm going to walk on side 3, then I'm going to walk on side 4 until I come back. Now, repeat that for every face in the graph. Now, just look at every edge. What will you see? You look at the edge and look close to it. On the sand on the left side, you will see that somebody's been dragging their finger. But if you look on the other side, you'll see the same. That's twice the number of edges. The edges have been marked twice, once from one side and once from the other side. Just think about that. When I walk around a three cycle, I mark three sides on one side. When I walk around a four cycle, I mark four edges from one side, etc. But when I finish, I've marked every edge twice, once from one side and once from the other side. So that total is twice the number of edges, so that's 2Q. Exactly, not less than, yes? Each cycle was a component in the graph? Or is that we No, but it, we are using that the graph is connected. When you have the maximum number of edges, it's, we already convinced ourselves this graph is connected. In fact, it's too connected. All right, now, compare this with this count. Which is bigger, the top or the bottom? You're supposed to say, well, obviously the top. So I want to write an inequality here. Which one should I write? That way? I do it right? Now, factor out the 3. What's that sum? What's F3 plus F4 plus F5 plus etc.? F. You're just counting the faces. All faces can be categorized. They're either Three faces, four faces, five faces, six faces. 
you can classify them according to the number of sides they have. So if you take the number of faces which have size 3 and the number of faces that have size 4, et cetera, et cetera, and add them up, that's just 3F. Now, we know that our graph is connected, so our formula is N minus Q plus F equals what? 2. All right, now I'm going to stop right there and challenge you to use high school algebra to get to, therefore, Q is less than or equal to 3N minus 6. Take a minute and see if you can get from here to here using just the information that's on the doc cam. And trust me, this is not high school algebra. This is middle school algebra. Did you get it? Yeah. So I'm going to summarize this inequality and say that says 2Q is greater than or equal to 3F. Or rewriting it, F is less than or equal to 2 thirds Q. Agreed? Now, take the Euler formula here. N minus Q plus F and write it F minus 2 equals 0. And now, replace the F by that. How does this compare with this term? Uh, I, I don't mean to write it equal. N minus Q plus 2 thirds Q minus 2. That's 2 thirds Q. I'm replacing the F by this term. Which of those two sides is bigger? What, what inequality should go in the middle? Equals, greater than or equal to, or less equal? Come on, folks. F less equal. F less equal, so that should be a less equal. And this is zero. So this is saying zero is less than or equal to N minus Q plus two thirds Q is minus Q over three, minus two. Put the two over here, put the, leave the, the two here, put the Q over three here, 
and multiply by three. And there you have it. Got it? All right.